Hey, what's up with y'all, man? Hey, look. Go ahead and go ahead and go over there to our Patreon and go get that joint, man. You know, we just trying to set things up so we can get the podcast rolling, you know what I'm saying? Extra equipment, all these things to upgrade us, you know what I'm saying? So we just trying to go up all 2021. So let's get it, gang. Hey, I'm not gonna say back again, but we back again. Nothing but discussion. You just said Episode it, you seven. Got nervous and choked it. He said what? You, you got nervous. And I ain't get it, nervous. Huh? I just say I say back again all the time, and I was trying to say something different, but you didn't know what to say. I, hey, back I was it. wondering what you were gonna say. Guess you what? Tell me other. You was gonna say it. Guess you what? We back again. Nothing but discussion. Episode back on seven. It. <laughs> it's been a wild two weeks, man. You know. It really has been. It has. People trying to learn about stocks. Out, man. I'm one of them. I'm, I don't know shit about stocks. Yeah, I'm me either. I'm ignorant. It's freak to this, but I'm gonna go ahead and try my best to learn it though. Uh, what's this called? GameStop. Shout up everybody bought all the stock up. I was on Twitter confused, bro. I missed out on it. everybody said they got a, the biggest bag. I I'm over there looking goofy. I ain't wanna say. At first, I was just like, dang, let me try to let me try to piece it together. But I couldn't. You know, what I'm saying? I had to. Then this dude explained it, and he was saying basically. They bought, they bought the, they borrowed stock from them. They sold it at that price. They tried, and then they bought it back at a lower price to make money. So that, I mean, that's the big, uh, best okay, way to explain okay. it. That's the best way to explain it. But still, like, I'm still ignorant to it. But if we could just run that back with the whole GameStop thing, I'd be really happy to do that. You got the, you doing dog coin that? I ain't doing no coin, no shit. Nothing. I don't got no shit. Nah. You gonna try to I get mean, it? I have downloaded Robinhood before. I tried to fuck around with it. I didn't really understand it, so I just like just left it there and didn't even try to attempt to do anything with it. You going? You going to try to get in the dog coin jump? They trying? I mean, they, yeah, I think I should too. I think it's probably the best choice to do that shit now while everything's while the ballistic and I just niggas is giving out sauce and shit. They yeah, yeah, out yeah. Free they, sauce on like TikTok and shit. They was just saying this one jump. They wanted to share to everybody. Hold on, I just I just saw it recently. I've been liking them joints, so I can maybe go back to them. Joints. I don't know. That shit is changing every day though, so it might be pointless from what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, I was just looking. They were saying if it goes, if it's a dollar, if they're saying a dollar is the floor. If it goes under a dollar, everybody sell ten percent of what you have to keep it at a dollar so it can shoot up. And that's what they're trying to get everybody reposting and sharing and everything like that. See, I don't understand none of that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I mean, I mean that one, I, I kind of understand that. But for the most part, like when they explained it real simple, when they was like somebody was like, if a monkey has five bananas and the bananas worth ten dollars, they sell they sell the five bananas for ten dollars to buy it back at a lower price. Then I was like, okay. When they explained it simple, but it just bothers me because like I don't like feeling ignorant to the stuff that's going on like that. But when funny. everybody's talking about it and shit, yeah. But hey, most people ain't know what's going on either. So I ain't feel that left yeah, out. Yeah, like a lot of people don't give a fuck. Like. A Mama. lot of people are just chilling. A lot of people are like you trying to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I had got and a this. lot of people are really doing, really doing that shit. I probably got the most money. basic book for it. I got dummies for stock. I mean, stocks for dummies. Read that bitch. I'm about to read that on front to back. Uh, but anyway, what's it called? How we you want to segue into this, John? <laughs> you want to try the Man. the challenge that's that's going crazy right now? No. Nigga, I don't know what to say. I don't know what the segue to do. I'm not even going for it. You the segue king, though. Uh, Whatever, though. Motherfucking silhouette challenge. And the niggas this being niggas, weird, bro. First I, of all, I'm I'm liking this challenge. <laughs> I do fuck with the challenge. Shout this out dude. all the shorties that's doing the challenge. Horn dog freak king right there. Nah, nah, nah. nah. I'm, just, I'm just being respectful. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully, respectfully. But niggas is being weird talking about some, oh, we got the ed- this editing app to make you know what I'm saying? The red disappear and you can see Shorty naked and shit. Like, niggas is being hella weird, hella horny, bro. Like, shit is not cool. Shit is lame as fuck. Do you see the arguments for it, though? Nah, I ain't even see that shit. I ain't even see no arguments about it. It was Shorty's, it was some Shorty's and dudes, like, like, oh, they was naked on the internet. Like, if they gonna be naked, like, they shouldn't have done it in the first place. What did you expect from the internet? See, that's and- some dumbass shit, but I, I guess, like, that's kind of. You, you you really can't get mad at I'm mean, like it's kind of a point like it's in a way like you did get naked and put it on the internet even if it's in a silhouette like no like when um fucking it was like hey Haley and Chloe or what um those two twins that like fuck with Beyonce and shit them mm-hmm. the singing girls shorty I think shorty was the first one to do that shit because 
the busted challenge. She did her little busted challenge, and then Jordan Woods did her little busted challenge, and then they was trying to say that, oh, like Haley or whatever was like, oh nah, she not about to outdo me. So Shorty was like, oh yeah. Let me do the silhouette shit. Shorty did the silhouette it. shit. Like I follow, I follow it. <laughs> like I, I know what's going on, but like it's, it's not like it's not like niggas don't know what's going on. Like I'm, like you probably don't, but I know. So like, <laughs> so like, wait, wait, why do I know what's going on? What's going on? Wait, wait, why am I out the loop? Because you don't know. You just said you didn't know. I never said. That. I said Biz been on it. Oh, okay. Anyway, go ahead, go ahead. but yeah. So like she did her little joint, they was going crazy over her little joint. But so some somebody just had to try to one up her, I guess. And she did her thing, and the other girl did her thing. But like niggas saw the little like, and see, I guess they knew she was naked and shit, and was on some grimy, scammy, ugly, I don't weird, think, lame shit. I don't think that's the point. I don't think it's the point saying that the that like what do you like honestly like you could say what do you expect from the internet? But at the end of the day, it's still some grimy stuff. Like I yeah, don't get yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't get it. Like like you already seeing the challenge jump right there. If that don't entertain it to you, just keep it there. But then you gotta take it to another level. Let me remove the filter they got going on and then see. There's them. just different weird lame niggas, bro. It's like it's just weird people out here. It's dirty. Out here. It's an evil world we live in. It's really, it's really, it it really is. It's a cold, dirty game. The, another weird thing I saw about it was like on the. It's kind of funny to me though. Like if if like a let's say a woman calls out like something she don't like that she saw a woman do, all the shorties be like yeah like you want him to pick you you want to pick you, but then like <laughs> <laughs> but then this dude if a dude says anything he don't like dudes doing, all the dudes be like oh get a load of this simp this simp. Oh no no let me let me let me let me, let me say this because I've been noticing I I wanted to talk about this today but I, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to but since we talk it's kind of on the same subject. Mm-hmm. All right. All you niggas that are online giving out the nigga like how niggas think and the like the sauce that we're on to like like not to be like a nigga like me like I'm not no like fuckboy type shit but like the niggas who are like I don't like you know I let them do their shit like they I mind my business they do their shit but these niggas that are online giving out the way that niggas think to shorties like to explain what's going on and shit to like get attention from them like y'all niggas are weird as fuck like i just seen this video of a nigga explaining what a nigga does or what he's doing to the shorty to like like inform her like oh that nigga ain't shit like this niggas is like dirty macking out here like niggas is giving out the sauce like nigga stop doing that shit you look goofy as fuck but i guess you look cool to the girls i guess but like to the niggas you just look dumb as fuck goofy as hell when i was saying that though i was saying that I was saying that what's this called? Um, for this specific challenge, I saw this dude saying this. Like, he was like, "Oh, this some predator stuff." Blah blah blah. And mad dudes in the comments was like, "Oh, simp, you think she gonna want you for this?" And it's like, dude, call other dudes predators, and now you call him a simp. <laughs> okay, that's different. That's totally different. <laughs> like, bro. No, I'm not. That's I'm not talking totally about what you're talking different. about. I'm just saying. He was like. He was like, y'all predators for this. They already getting the challenge. Like, you could just enjoy the challenge. Look at this dude. I hope she give you some coochie for this. Like, yo. Yeah, that's them trying a little bit too hard on that shit. And it's just, but it's, it's actually hilarious to me. It's just real life. You can't say nothing about your gender. That goes for women and men on Twitter. But, you know, uh, anyway, I'm going to do a segue. Segue king right here. Just like, no, nah, I can't segue. But anyway. MVP race. I try, I try, I try. Just like, all right. <laughs> MVP race. MVP race. Right now, top three people right now is Embiid, LeBron, KD. Off rip, who would you want it to be, though? Hmm. Without without stats. Bron. Why Bron? Because Bron is just the greatest they, right now. No, I, I want Bron because they shitted on him last yeah, year. They How many really, votes he get? They're shitting on him right now. He got one vote. One vote? How many honors get? 99. Oh, yeah. no. And Giannis made, didn't make it to the Eastern Conference Finals last year, right? He didn't even make it to the Eastern Conference Finals last year. No, nah, I don't think so. I Who, think they got the, their they shit knocked out. It was the Heat and Celtics. Not even, the, not even the Bucks. And he won it. I Giannis, saw that shit coming, bro. Bro, Giannis, what's it called? He not, he, he's not... Like, bro, I saw that shit coming. He's not, the most, sucking. he's not the most valuable, bro. When you got you a dude who can give you buckets, can get his team going, can hit shots, can can just coach on the floor, Share another the coach on the floor, that's the MVP. Like the and he and the fact that he's doing this at what, 38, 37 now? 36. But what? 
What's it called though? But KD came back with that injury. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think he'd be back like this. I think so. I, I thought did he not. did. I, I thought, did. I thought he'd be averaging a smooth 22 first season. I'm not. I didn't say KD was done, but I thought he'd be averaging a smooth 22. This bully right here averaging 30 points on 51 percent shooting and seven rebounds and five assists. That nigga's nice. And then in B going crazy. That Ooh. Nets team is just OC. It's just like really a big three, a big dominant three to do the what the fuck they want and win games. I don't know if they make it to the finals though. To what finals? To all the way to the yeah. I think no, they make it. I, I, I think I think, I think they, they, go, they have potential too. But I was like, I, I, been, I, I see been, them there. I see them there. They allow too many points, bro. They allow way too many points. I don't know what the ranking is in the league for like getting scored on, but they got to be number two or number one. Nah, Utah. Utah is going crazy though. Utah's they're they're like they're 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 like what fourteen and something. I don't know. Utah the underdog. I seen that shit on like this little ESPN uh like a little tweet. They were like, oh yeah, watch out for for motherfucking Utah. They were like going crazy or some shit. What's that post I sent you earlier? With, without fucking Devin Booker. That post I sent you earlier about it was like the most valuable player. On oh Utah. That- I'm, no, hey hey hey, chill out, biz. Devin Booker not on Utah. You had to check yourself. Yeah. What's it called? What am I talking about? The the most valuable jump when they had Kobe, LeBron, Curry, and Jordan. I said this shit at AI. Out of all of them, though, who would you say is the most influential jump uh, player? Out of I say for for I don't know. I, I say Jordan, but I don't know. Yeah, I think it had to be Michael Jordan. Everybody wanted to be like Michael Jordan. Like even the even the generation before us wanted to be like Michael Jordan. But then I say AI too though. Because well, yeah, like, I don't the style he brought think... to the court, the style and everything he brought to the court. I was listening to the story. NBA players wasn't even dressing like that back then. And they just started doing it because they saw AI do it. And they was like, oh, I thought we was going to get in trouble at first. And I saw him. <laughs> I, hey, I, AI had to be the test dummy. Yeah. and then But then they put out like no chains, no t-shirts, no this, no that. David Stern put that out back then. But I don't know. But then Curry changed the game with the way people shoot. Like that's another thing. He changed the way people play. It'd be big men out on the corner because driving, like being the paint, no, they pulling the three. So I don't Boogie. know. I don't know. Curry changed the whole game though. Boogie started doing that shit. I don't know. I'm saying it's Jordan at the end of the day. Yeah, I think it's Jordan too, honestly. All right, but if but next if AI next definitely should have been on that list that they listed. If next Sunday Pat Mahomes loses <clears throat> to Tom Brady, can he still be considered the GOAT? All right, so like I was saying, uh Pat Mahomes, Sunday. Next Sunday, if Tom Brady wins, right? Pat Mahomes loses. He's supposed to be the GOAT now. Everybody's saying he's the GOAT way early. I'm not really against it. Whatever. If Tom Brady beats him, takes off his shoulder pads on the field, says, I retire, seven rings, I'm out. Can Pat Mahomes be considered the GOAT one day? Only if he, only if he, only if he gets, more, gets seven rings or more. Seven rings or more? Yes. Because he signed that OD long-ass tr- contract with the Chiefs. It's like a 10-year, right? Yeah, some shit like that. Some double-digit number. What's it called? So, so if he if he surpasses the moment, I think I will call Patrick Mahomes the goat is when he gets more Super Bowls than Tom Brady because Tom Brady did that shit back to back to back. He's been a ten. Like been that nigga 10. has six Super Bowls. If he wins this, he'll have seven. And that's crazy though. Like that's crazy. Like LeBron, but it's kind of harder to get to the Super Bowl because it's one game and you can you can lose whenever. One and done. Like look at the Steelers. They had that one bad hike and they was out and they was almost undefeated the whole season and they went, yeah. they lost to the Browns. And people was necking the Browns after that, but yeah, because like in the NBA, you can just you if you lose first game, you got a chance to you know bounce back type shit. Like, yeah, ain't no bouncing back in the NFL. Yeah, you're you gone. You're <laughs> going home. You bouncing home. Yeah, you on the bus. <laughs> nah, but Pat Mahomes, who you got on Sunday? Ah, <sighs> you know. But first, want, who do you who do you want to win first? Pat Mahomes. And who you who do you think will win? Tom Brady. Yeah, I, you can't count that man out. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not. I'm not trying. I'm not counting Pat Mahomes out, but I just think Tom Brady's gonna win because. You no, know I'm saying you can't count. Tom Brady out. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The Falcons, bro. I remember I went home. I was at a Super Bowl party. I was like, yeah, it's over. Everybody was tweeting, pass the sticks, pass the sticks, 20 more skunk. Then that boy, Tom Brady, he, he saw the tweets. He said, and I took, <laughs> he said, and I took it personally. And he showed what personally looked like for Tom Brady. Nah, but I think I want Pat Mahomes to win. I do, too. But Pat Mahomes, like, they both got, like, Pat Mahomes got tough receivers, though. Like, he's got a tough team. Like, I don't know. I but feel like know, the Chiefs gonna win. I if like Tom Brady wins in them, that means Adrian Peterson gets a fucking ring too. Adrian Peterson. Adrian Peterson's on on, on Tampa. Yeah. Yes. What? Leonard Fournette gets a ring. The niggas like his like it's what is it? I think it might be like his third or fourth fourth year. 
Leonard it, Fournette. It's if Tom Brady wins, it's gonna be the first team to win at home in the Super Bowl. Fucking so yeah. Mike Evans gets a ring. That's crazy. And right? uh, Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown, damn. He's hurt right now, too, I think. He is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He I, I, I did see something not coming back. You watching the Pro Bowl tomorrow? Nah, probably not. If Chase Young is in there. I think Chase Young's in there. Maybe I'll watch it. You love that boy. I fuck with Chase Young. That's my nigga. Anyway, what's this called? Um, yeah, I got Pat Mahomes winning. What, okay, score. I say the score. I got I got a, I got a high-scoring game. Cause la- remember the last one Tom Brady was in against the Rams. I don't know what the fuck to say on the score. The score, what was the score for the Rams? Don't it was a field goal and it was two field goals. It was six to three or something like that. The game was boring as hell. I feel like this is gonna be a high scoring game. I say like twenty. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be like a, a high pace, up tempo game. Anyway, what's this called? You see the shorty got mad at Ti for playing a character of Vitiligo. I didn't even see that honestly. When they probably heard Ti, they probably thought he was gonna talk about that other shit, but I ain't. I ain't, I ain't tapping in. Oh, that. shit. I ain't tapping in. They trying that. to set T.I. up. <laughs> they got T.I. They got T.I. They got T.I. fucked up. T.I. got two scandals they had to... in one week. He got two scandals in one week. Yo. They had to put a whole eight-minute video talking about how he ain't doing shit and he ain't did shit. Bro, he had a whole an eight-minute video. But I'll tell you what he oh, did. IG. Dang, I guess IG we going to talk about it with the video, whatever. But the thing about the I video. I be on IGTV like that. But the thing about the video Usually when people like get called out for stuff like that, they always go like they always say this. It's always kind of funny to me. They go, "Believe all women," but basically not this one. <laughs> like that's yeah, every time they get called yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. But what he said was kind of different. He said it in a good way. I thought. I think yeah, he that's the first time I heard well. it different. He was like, he was basically saying you, you should, women should be believed. This movement they got going on, but both genders can lie. Right, right. So I, I don't know. Women lie, men lie. I don't know. You know? This- and he said it sucks for him. You know what I'm saying? Because he has to, you know, really defend himself against this shit. Yeah, he's saying now he has to prove that yeah. he didn't do it or whatever. The thing that I don't understand, though, is I just want to know when the internet is going to just stop, like, taking something and running with it. Like, you can have a story Never. and like, it could be covered. Like, that's not a problem. That's whatever. But remember Dwight Howard? About him being, him being gay and shit or and, the transgender? Yes. And yeah. the person had a phone call and that jump was never confirmed that it was Dwight Howard. But everybody ran with it. All the memes to this day. To this day, still say do I have a gay? To this day, jump was never confirmed. Internet Did just he do some gay shit in the game too, though. He did some gay like stuff he in the game. He tested nigga meat. When he was on the bench, he was like, he was like he, rubbing on that nigga. Okay, that's I, sus. I, I ain't that's see sus. I ain't, I ain't see. <laughs> you don't just purposely put your hand on a nigga's meat and start rubbing that shit. <laughs> I'm just saying the fact, yo. I'm just, hey, hey, hey. I don't got nothing against it yet. That's him. That's he can do him. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. No, that's but you know not, why they running with that narrative not, because that yeah. story. Yeah, but it, they saying, just trying to connect the dots type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But people run with so many narratives, bro. It's so crazy. Like, like another narrative. Like they just hear a narrative and they act like it's facts. Like they be like, oh, little Dirk getting all his friends killed. Or they be, oh yeah, that's just lame. That's just I, and it happens more and more. Why are everybody around Dirk dying? Yeah, that shit lame as fuck. Uh, what's it called? But T.I. Back to T.I. Two scandals, one week. He played a character in this movie with Vitiligo. Okay, and Shorty. Hold on, let me let me read some of these tweets here. It says, "I want to know who they consulted about Vitiligo to figure out how the best approach T.I.'s makeup cutthroat. No, makeup and cutthroat city. I will also wonder why they didn't just hire an actor of Vitiligo. All right, I got a question." That I've been wondering for like a little while, cause I've been hearing this complaint with people with disabilities. Is it wrong for someone that for an actor to act in a movie and play a disability? I don't know. That like okay, so look, people would say something like, "Why didn't they cast somebody who's actually in a wheelchair to play somebody in a wheelchair?" But then other people like other people would be like, they'd be like. It's acting. He's that's the whole thing. He's well, yeah, acting, it's like, acting like they well, somebody that's actually in a wheelchair may not be the best choice for that role. I feel like the problem. I feel like I feel like if because it's like they be trying to put heat on these casting directors and the production crew and whatever. I feel like the casting crew just got to prove that they tried to find somebody with that, and then show, hey, look, we did try to cast a uh, little Jimmy in a wheelchair, and he didn't. He didn't make it. He wasn't that good. He didn't. He didn't do good enough playing in nah. a wheelchair to be acting in a wheelchair. If that nigga would have got his skills up, he would have <laughs> got the role. If he would have rolled a little bit better in the wheelchair, then, <laughs> then he would have got the role. They could use some upgrades on that shit. He wasn't rolling hard enough for me. <laughs> nah, but they's really mad at T.I. with Vitiligo, man. He do look crazy. Look, 
<laughs> now you do look kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that that's that's that is crazy. But I don't know. I can't speak. I can't say like I can't just fully agree. Like, oh, they're actors. They're acting like it. Yeah. Because you know, people do get mad. Like if they're if they're not represent- like they was getting white women to play Cleopatra. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, right. Oh, and right. Shawty playing Wonder Woman. She about to play Cleopatra. Hmm. In the she's white. Yeah. Wow. Well, I think she's foreign or something. I don't know. She not. She not like. I don't know. I think she either white or foreign or mix it with that or something. At the end of the day, I don't know. I gotta talk to somebody with a disability or something and see how they feel. Yeah, honestly. Was it if it is wrong though, was it wrong for Jamie Foxx to play Ray Charles? No, because you know, I I I um I listened to this one podcast where Jamie Foxx was on that joint. He talked about like his journey making that movie. He actually sat down with Ray Charles and like you know, like, got to know him, and they actually spent a lot of time together while, like, Jimmy Fox was telling them, like, you know, like, I'm playing you in this movie, and, you know. um, Jimmy Fox learned a lot about Ray Charles, and Ray Charles was like, you know, if you're going to do this movie, you're going to do it right. And so, like, they sat down together. Ray Charles would be on the piano. Them two niggas just, like, playing that shit, like. And he, like, would, like, make Jimmy Fox play that shit, and he'd be, like, Jimmy Fox would, like, play the wrong key, he'd be like, yo, like, what the fuck are you doing, like, tighten up, like, type shit, like, yeah, like, so I don't think, like, it, like, I think Ray Charles was fine with it, so I think it's, like, I guess that's a if they're fine, if they're fine with it, if, 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 like, if, if it's about somebody, like, famous with a disability, like, you know, something like that. And they're fine with it, like, they give them clearance. And then I guess it's okay, but I guess it's kind of grimy if they just do it, like, uh, I don't know, if, like, Forrest Gump type thing, like, is that... He, what do he have, like, Down syndrome or something? Yeah, something like that. So they shouldn't cast, you saying they shouldn't cast Tom Hanks, they should cast somebody with Down syndrome? Like, I guess, I guess they should, I don't know if anybody would Down syndrome, I don't know who auditioned for that role, or... Whatever, so I don't know if some somebody with like you know autism did like audition for that role and they did a good job. Like okay, then like you know they may had a chance to get that role, but I guess it's just all comes down to who's like the best fit for that role. At the end of the day, I think that's how Hollywood sees it. And sometimes, but sometimes they, do some they grimy get shit. they, yeah, they you, get you the casting wrong. So sometimes it's just like they'll do some shit just because some, somebody is the way they are. So. It's just it's a cold, dirty game. Like Scarlett, what's her name that played Black Widow, Johansson? Oh, you she be taking all the roles up. She yeah. was playing the Asian Asian woman. She played. She's playing this anime character, and then she was like, people was calling out for it. She's like, if I want to play a tree, I play a tree. She, like, she yeah, she ruthless. She, <laughs> she give, was like, she was like, I take your role. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm be grouping the next. Give me that. <laughs> nah, talking about. But anyway, moving on. COVID-19, the vaccine supposed to be coming. Joe Biden said that he thought he'd be getting it too earlier, but that was cap. He's saying spring slash summer. Now, if, are, are you going to take it or not? I don't know. I'm skeptical about that shit. I was around somebody. I heard some hearsay, overheard a conversation. Boy talking about some, you know, yeah, I just got my second shot. An older white man. So I just it's just like oh yeah, second shot yeah you get two yeah I think yeah. I saw something like that too yeah 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 um so you know I don't know a lot of people are taking that that shot I did I, I did see something on Twitter I don't know if I, it was probably fake, some fake shit like somebody had just got the COVID vaccine and then like they ended up in the hospital or some shit I think it might have been like some it was like a caption or some shit yeah uh, if it's from Twitter I I'm, yeah. I'm not getting none of yeah, my COVID yeah, vaccine stuff like, from the timeline I don't I think I'd take it I'd take it but I, I just don't want to be you know what I'm saying off the rip my grandpa got it he already got the shot yeah I think I'd, I wouldn't take I think I'd give it a couple years maybe I don't, couple I don't years? I, I, it's just like I'm really hesitant about it I'm really scared like these are these are scary times, so I don't know what the fuck. Did like, your parents get you like vaccinated when you was younger? No, they was like again. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, besides I tetanus, yeah, besides shit. like tetanus, like and all shots in school for school and shit. Like yeah, those, yeah. Are, like my basic shit. But no, I never got like flu shots, none of that shit. Oh, okay, okay. I don't think I did. Anyway, COVID, the vaccine. I was saying that I think I'm gonna take it, but I just want to see like I, all we're seeing now, the people that are able to get it right now, because it's not available now anyway. So what I want to do is what I have to do anyway. It's not available now. I just want to see the people that got it, how they act within the first six months, anything happened. And again, I, I don't think that the government's out. Like, people be like, oh, they out to do this, they out to do that. I don't think. But I also do think that skepticisms are realistic. Because the way people be acting, they, like, the tweets, 
they low key annoy me. Even though I'm not a part of the skepticism side like that, I, it's annoying when they try to act like the government's never done anything wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the syphilis Tuskegee experiment, like uh, midnight was was the CIA operation that they they was doing the LSD experiments on people. So like, oh yeah, so it's like, soldiers? Huh? No, it's just people. Well, they had like a brothel, like Joan, you know, and then they was like, they would give them LSD, but they had it set up as a brothel, but it was like an undercover operation for like the CIA, FBI type shit. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, but like, so there's like reasons for skepticism, but the people that's like, oh, if you ever ate this or did this or, or you shouldn't be scared of the COVID vaccine, you shouldn't be worried about that. And it's like, some might be jokes, but some people really be trying to play the other people out like it's not realistic at all. And it's like, how, right. like you just, you just sound stupid. You sound stupid. You sound stupid. You think, like, real life, like, the government that didn't want to give us a stimulus, didn't want to help out, didn't want to do none of this all year, like, this this rush scene vaccine, but I'm going to take it. They said it should be here, but in spring or summer or whatever, uh, whenever it get here, I'm going to go ahead and take it by that point. Uh, but I don't know. I'm still a, I don't know. Or... You said, but you said two years. I don't know, but I'm just scared. You sc- well, are you scared of shots or are you scared no, of the vaccine? No, no, no. I'm just scared of the fucking vaccine because don't you get like a dose, of, a little dose of that bitch? I mean, I know that that's so what they do. you can be immune to that, to yeah, that yeah. shit. So, I don't know. So, you just scared how your body be like react. getting sick off that shit. Like, they, like, they'll feel terrible. Well, ever since fifth grade when I got my, what's it called, shot to get in like fifth or sixth grade, my arm, every time I get shot now, it like gets real big and warm Damn. and hot and catches a fever. But, I don't know. I, it should be burning. Yeah. Damn, I couldn't it, imagine. It gets like real hot and it gets big and it looks like it looks like an extra muscle. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. But I'm a, I still I'm gonna get it. All right, versus. The versus of the year is finally here, and it's not <laughs> it's not a music versus. It's the versus we all want to see. Who you got, man? The, I'm asking you first. Who you got? Godzilla King Kong. Um, I want to say. I'm gonna say Godzilla. Why you? Okay. Wait, wait. Uh, let, let me ask you. Okay. I ask you for Super Bowl. Okay. Who do you want to win? Godzilla. I forgot who King Kong is. Okay. You forgot who King Kong is? Yeah. Well, who is that one again? He the one that was going outside for a white woman. For the girl. Oh, the, the um gorilla nigga climbed the Empire the State Building with. Uh, oh yeah, I got Godzilla. Uh, that Godzilla is like the dragon nigga with the. Breathe with the, the fire, fire, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Godzilla, yeah, Godzilla, you're going Godzilla. crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Godzilla? Yeah, 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 over the gorilla? Yeah, 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 but he a gorilla yeah, 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 on Empire yeah, yeah, State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you a fuck. Put Godzilla on the plate. No, you a fuck. Come on, now. Godzilla, I'll tell on. you this. <sighs> I've been seeing everybody disrespect King Kong, bro. <sighs> King Kong won the first time. But <sighs> I want King Kong to win, but I think Godzilla going to win. Yeah, Godzilla game. Everybody necking Godzilla right gang. now. Everybody necking. Godzilla game. Everybody necking. But King... You heard? They're like... But they be saying something like, oh, he's just a monkey. Like he, he, if he was just a monkey, then you'd be able to see him in a zoo. He ain't no monkey. He a eighty foot beast, bro. He a beast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He gorilla in the sky. He did go out. Beat Godzilla though. till he cry. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna beat on Godzilla like he is dead. <laughs> he gonna beat on Godzilla, bro. That fire breath don't mean nothing to no. To he ain't even no gorilla for real, for real. We think about it. He 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 ain't no gorilla. I don't know what to call him, bro. <laughs> What if he like? What if he took Godzilla and like smacked him on his back like that African dude did him? <laughs> wow! <laughs> the thunder, when, the when he took slaps. his back and shot, and slapped his back, and it was sound like gunshot, and it, and it was like you don't want an African person to slap you. That joke was wild. They did be slapping hey, hard. I ain't gonna lie. I believe after, re- after seeing that shit. caption in that video, I believed it. I was like, I don't want. I was like, I don't want no African person to slap me. No smoke with them, bro. They, yo, that joke sound like straight gunshots on his back. I know his back was stinging. He was fire, fire. He broke that nigga's fire, bro. Bro, for he real. That nigga's I know. Back. I know that dude. Whatever he did, I bet he regretted what he did, got bro. Got his back shot. I bet out. he was. <laughs> He said, like, and I blew your back out. <laughs> he said, like, you muddy sucker. I, I told you I want you. I blew your fucking back out. They always say, I told you. I told you. <laughs> nah, but that, if, if King Kong do that, then he automatically win in my book. I don't even care if he lose and die. If King Kong turn Godzilla around and slap his back like that. 
Did he win? Offer it. Offer it. Yeah, no gap. No nah, cap, but no I don't cap. know why everybody just going crazy on King Kong. Like he, like he went outside. I I give you that. He went outside. But think about this. He was the last gorilla on his island. Not a gorilla. I don't know what he is, but he's not no gorilla. But he was the last whatever he was on his island. He see a shorty. And he thought she was bad, so he went outside. Like, like, what he supposed to do? Ain't no gorilla shorties out there. So he see a human shorty. That's like, dang. Like, all right, she look kind of good. I can work with that. And that's what he did. He tried to, but they shot my boy out the air. But yeah, whatever. All right. Next verses. They saying. They saying. They saying. They might get Usher. Usher. They might get. Yeah, man. In my confession. Just when yeah, I thought. Man. And your boy, Justin Timberlake. That's your boy. You said that. No, you said that was your no, favorite you singer. You said that. You said you used to dance you like said, that. You know what you said? What? You said, that's the template. He just might as well be black. <laughs> I've never said that in my life. You said, you know what you said? You was, you was one of the corny people that was like, you know, just Timberlake should come to the cookout. Nah, hell, you did. Nah, you said he's nah, invited nah, to the cookout. Nah, you said nah, that. I, I promise you said, said that. You told me that. invited to the cookout. You said you used to be like, when you put your suit and tie on, you play suit and tie by Justin Timberlake every time. Hell nah. You said that. Hell nah. You said, who winning that off rip? Ursher. But he spanked you just They better not set that up. I don't even want to see that. I don't even want to see that. Walk. I'm That's not even going to lie, bro. Versus, I just be want to see black artists on Versus. Respectfully, Justin bro. Timberlake. I, I, and that's the thing. Justin Timberlake got hit. He got hit. I ain't going to lie on his yeah. name. But he not Usher, bro. He not Usher. He not Usher, man. Get him out of here. He, get him out of here, for real. What's the, what's the score? I say 20-0. I say Usher run up the scoreboard. 20 0? Bruh, think about uh, the placement. Dang. Bruh. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna do like, uh, maybe like 17 3. I was gonna be like, check the score. If you lose one more, that's 20 to 0. <laughs> Damn. He run, bro, we said what? 17 to 3. Yeah, you said 20 0, right? What, what three, you, what? Okay, offer. I don't know. I just said some shit. I just want to give Justin Timberlake some points because I all feel right, like that's right, 19 gonna 1. Happen. And, all right. Okay, okay, no. 19 and a half point five for Justin Timberlake. Point five? They, they you can't be doing no point fives. Not how that work. <laughs> you know what you sound like? What? <laughs> point five. Who sounds like point five? <laughs> you don't sound that around here. Yeah. Justin Timberlake is getting smacked, bro. Who? Um, they've been saying this for too long, so obviously Usher going to end up being a versus. Who should they put against Usher? Here's what I say. They try, Chris Brown. Bro, I'm saying it. And they keep trying to act like Chris Brown's not a not a good... They be like, Hell stop yeah. disrespecting Usher. And I'm like, yo, look. Usher got hits and he, 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 he's been around longer. But Chris Brown's the perfect dude to go against... Uh, who else? Literally, who else? Bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, literally. We, look who we pulling out. Justin Timberlake? Now we going to the white demographic? We trying to find somebody. We know who the dude is. They desperate for somebody, but they don't want to pick Chris Brown. Bro, they, that's what I'm saying. They searching. Who's next? Who next? Who they gonna pick next? Like, come on now, it's Chris Brown. We already know that. You better put fucking Justin Timberlake next to fucking John B. John B. John B. Who's John B? Don't listen to what people say. They don't know about. I'm sorry, I, I can't get. He don't even know the R and B. Hello, 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 hello. He don't hello, even stop, know stop. R&B. I knew you was trying to play me nah, out. Nah, I was nah, like, nah, nah, when you were saying, I was like, nah, please, nah, not say, nah, please. Don't even know. Don't <laughs> please, even know. please get he it. Don't even know. Hold up, stop, stop. Give me a second. Oh, John B. Don't listen yeah, to yeah, bro. I just what that. people yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. I ain't know I that, bro. That. I still ain't know. What's it called? Listen. Score, Chris Chris Brown, Usher. What's the score? Who, and who's winning? You want cap? I do not. You, you're not going to say what you really want to say? Because you're scared people are going to come No, no, no. you scared no, no. of the There's smoke. you scared of the smoke. There's a pro- you think I'm going to say Chris Brown's going to win, don't That's you? what you want to say. I do want to say that. <laughs> you scared, know, you're scared of the smoke. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's true. Like, I don't know if that's true, so. You don't want to I smoke. think it'll be close, so I don't know. I don't, I'm undecided. Come on, bro. Just think real quick. Think real quick. about the, uh, Think about Chris Brown real quick. His hits. I want to be you where you, got you got are. Right there, Chris Brown. Nigga, Chris Brown got classics. All right, now think about Usher. Usher got classics. Usher. Usher winning, bro. And I, I stand on that. Now look. By it's like a, one point, one or two points. What? No, I say, Period. I say 13-7. 13-7? Yeah, Usher winning. That's not bad. That's respectful. What are we, what are we, where, how many records are they playing? To 20, but sometimes they go over, but it's a 20. 13-7. Bro, 13-7. At the most, I'll give you 8-12. I mean, 12-8. Bro, I'm t- bro, come on now. You know what I'm saying? He's too young. Guess, He's too young. Guess, you know guess. what I'm saying? He, he was, he was 99-21. I was 99-20. So, I, I'm a little... I'm a, you're, I'm a, you're born the day before me. But I'm just yeah, saying, yeah, I'm, a little, I'm a little older than him. I was hit the usher before him, too. 
All right, look. They also saying. Oh, also I saw there's another thing they said. They said uh, Swiss Beats. No, this one was Timberland. He said he want to set up Tupac versus Biggie. Do you, one? Do you think they should do that? No. Why are you saying no? Because so that should be. I mean, I guess I would be. I guess I don't know how. Like, who would who would be able to pick who? Like, who, what records to play? Like, they DJs or producers at the time. Like, or like maybe Puffy picks with Biggie or something like that. I don't know. Nah. And Shook Knight picks with Tupac. <laughs> Shook Knight locked his ass locked up running over that nigga. Hey, whoa, damn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> shit was tragic. Saw that shit for the first time today. Five years ago, that nigga did that shit. Shit lame. That shit crazy. Nah, but listen, I think they should do it. And I say that score, I say 10 10. But I think they should do it. They can get their DJs and producers at the time to go ahead and pick for them, and it'll still work out. But you know they're going to do it 10 10. You know they're going to make it 10 10. No, oh, yeah, no, it, but it's about the people. It's gonna be a celebration. It's, always, you, it's about a celebration, not a that contest. one. That one's celebration. That's the only one you can say is a celebration. All the other ones, when they be like, they got smoked out the water, and they be like, it's not a competition. It's about a celebration of music. Stop the cap. You know what I'm saying? That's, we having a celebration. Let us stay fly. Sersky Dursky. Oh, what's this called? Midnight in Miami. You gotta watch that jump. If y'all haven't I seen it, I will watch it. Oh, it's not even midnight in Miami. It was called one night, night in, one a <laughs> night in Miami or some <laughs> shit like that. That's not a midnight in Miami. That's not a different. Everything happens at midnight. Yeah, the whole not, movie. That's not a different. Nah, but midnight. I mean, one night in Miami. <laughs> you gotta say it again. <laughs> one night in Miami. It's about the night when that pic. I, I've seen the pictures before, but I never knew the story behind it. It was Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali. Uh, what was his name? The running back for the Cleveland Browns. What's his name, bro? I can't remember his name, whatever. And I think Sammy Davis. And they was all just hanging out in the hotel and they was just talking to politics. And it was actually really interesting. I'll tell you what that movie did for me. It made me want to learn more about uh, Malcolm X. Like, I, I, I know about him, but I feel like I know too much on the surface. And I got to dig in a little more and just learn about him. Right. It was interesting. I, I just. All right. Yeah, I'm going to definitely check that out. Yeah, yeah, for real, for real. On Amazon. Yeah, on Amazon Prime. We giving Amazon out Prime endorsements, not getting video. covered for them. Telling y'all where it's at. All right. Yeah. I'm going to write this thing up. Hey, well, it's been another episode. You dig what I'm saying? Um, First of all, shout out my boy Matt behind the cameras doing this thing over there. Yes, sir. Match For key. the free ski. <laughs> 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 and shout out to everybody who's been rocking with us, fucking with us. You know the deal. You know I say that every time. Shout out to Hey, y'all. we appreciate the views, man. We really do appreciate, appreciate everybody who takes the time it. out of their day to watch us and, you know, give us your time of attention. For the views going up, make sure you, know you know what I'm saying? saying? Once you watch the video, share it with your up. mama, your dad, your uncles, everybody. Just let them know. Nothing but discussion out here, putting in work. You know what I'm saying? From here to there. We really doing this shit. All right. Nothing, Bang. Nothing but discussion.